What's up guys, my name is Robert from Crazy Games and I'm here to give you some updates on some of the unboxings that we are going to be doing. I did have an unboxing of um, the Xbox One stereo headset, but I kind of decided, you know what, what's the whole point, right? <laughs> so, um, I am here to tell you of some of the unboxings that I have. Um, some of them are, well, very cool, some of them aren't. So, I'm going to be looking this way. So, let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing that we have is um, Destiny the Ghost Edition. Um, I did pre-order the Standard Edition, but um, um, it was announced on Monday, and I went to my GameStop, uh, my local GameStop that I usually go to, and I asked, hey, can I pre-order the Ghost Edition? And they said, no, I have to wait one to two days. So I was going to go Wednesday, but then I called them and asked, can I pre-order it now? You know, it, it was one day, right? And they said, yes, yes, you can pre-order it now. So I immediately went and did that, and I pre-ordered it. So so um, here is what we will be getting from the Ghost Edition. So what, we'll be, so what we will be getting is a Ghost Replica. So the Ghost Replica is pretty much the ghost in the game. It's um, your companion um, throughout Destiny, and it just goes with you. Um, just follows you around and this ghost replica is actually uh, motion sensing so if you walk by it it will start talking to you so that's one cool thing and then you'll get a letter of introduction um, for the collector's edition or the ghost edition um, next that we have is uh, the golden age relics which is pretty much some relics of, um, of um, on how the hunter um, warlock and titan um, were on like other planets before Destiny came to be, so that's pretty cool. And um, then there's an arms and armament guy. So then there's an arms and armament guy, and um, it shows um, many um, just some of the weapons and armor um, that are in the game and um, that are supposedly a myth. And then there are postcards from the Golden Age, um, and of course they're just like postcards and all that. And then um, you get an antique star chart about Destiny, which is actually very, very cool. And then here are some of the digital content that you will be getting with it. Um, you will be getting a, a unique ghost casing. So the ghost replica um, is actually red um, for people who get the ghost edition. And, and the unique ghost casing, which is a part of the digital content, um, it's actually, you can actually equip your ghost with the um, ghost um, skin, or the red skin for the ghost, which is pretty cool. Um, then you get an exclusive player emblem and an exclusive player ship variant, so that is pretty cool. So the next thing that I pre-ordered is Battlefield Hardline, uh, the deluxe edition. I didn't really get any information on that. Um, I was going to get it, but I kind of got lazy. So, what happens? Right. So the next thing that we have is Assassin's Creed Unity Collector's Edition. And here's what's in it. So you get, of course, the game. Um, you get a 16-inch tall statue of Arno, which is the um, master assassin in Assassin's Creed Unity um, and the main protagonist. Um, and he's leading the revolutionary charge. Um, there will be... I don't know. <laughs> Continuing on. Then you'll get a um, fully functioning wooden Assassin's Creed Unity um, music box. And it plays the remixed um, version of the theme song for, of the game. And I will be doing a comparison on that, so don't worry. I got you covered. Um, so the next thing um, is a... Um, it's an art book. You get an art book with it, and then... Um, the collector's edition um, box that it comes in is uh, the the Notre Dame uh, Cathedral in, uh, in Assassin's Creed. Um, it was shown in the single player demo of, of the game, so that was uh, pretty cool. Um, then you get the official soundtrack, so that's why I said I was going to do a comparison with the, with the music box and the, um, the original theme song, because the theme or the music box is a remix version of the theme song, so continuing on. And then you get two in-game missions, and it contains over 45 minutes of gameplay. 
um, and one of the missions is killed by science exclusive mission and the chemical revolution explosive mission so that's actually very very cool and all so all right everyone um, that is pretty much what I have um, pre-ordered right now some games I'm not gonna get until t probably about a month or two after and one of those games is gonna be Halo the Master Chief Collection I am not pre-ordering that the reason why is because I'd rather wait for a price drop well, not a price drop, but I'm going to be spending a lot of money during October. I'm going to probably be spending about over $100 or over $200. And, you know, I'm trying to keep it money-wise. So then um, the other thing that I was going to pre-order was Evolve and The Evil Within. But I'd rather wait just a little while, just like the Halo uh, Master Chief Collection. Um, I'd rather wait just a little while. And then... Um, Oh, I pre-ordered Tom Clancy's The Division. Um, there's no collector's edition information on that yet. They're probably going to be doing the same thing as they did with Destiny, um, where they kind of announced it very you know, late into um, the game's production. Because Destiny comes out in September, and they announced the collector's edition. Let's see, today's the 9th. They announced it on the 7th. So it was a little kind of unfair to players. But... Um, so yeah, and I have a side story to tell you guys um, at the end of the video. So any, anyways, alright everyone, here is my side story about Destiny the Ghost Edition. Alright, so my little story with the Destiny uh, Ghost Edition. So me and my friend, we were just talking on Skype just probably about an hour ago. And me and him, we were talking, and we, and he asked me, "Hey, can you call um, this GameStop that I usually that I pre-ordered my game at, and ask them if I um, can still change my game from from the standard edition to the Ghost edition?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I got you." So I called them up and I asked if I can do that, and they said, "No, there are no more pre-orders for those editions." And I'm like, "All right, thank you." And I didn't really get a straight up answer if we, if we could change it. And right now he's actually going. But then I'm like, you know what, I'll call my local GameStop and ask if I can, if I can do it. Um, and if I'm still able to do that. Because um, since they said that you wouldn't be able to pre-order the, um, the Ghost Edition, um, he also asked me if I can pre-order the Limited Edition. So I called his GameStop um, again for a moment and I asked and they did, still didn't give me a straight answer. So I called my local GameStop and I asked them, can I change, can I change my, um, can I change a pre-order to um, the Destiny Limited Edition? And I already pre-ordered the Ghost Edition, so I gave him my phone number and all that, and, and he's like, so, and I asked him a couple questions, and when I hung up the phone, I'm like, oh my god, I hope he didn't, you know, change it to the Limited Edition, and it was bugging me for the longest of time, so I waited about 15 minutes after I called, and then I called back and asked, um, if I can see what my pre-orders were and all that and he said I still had the ghost edition and I'm like great that is awesome so that was my little close call for the ghost edition but you know what you got to do what you got to do to get to get some information for your friends and also for the public um so and I might as well tell you this so I haven't been making videos um, for a while um, the reason why is because there's no good games and you know um, I tried to get, you know, good game capture and all that, and I do have some videos, it's just the thing is, I'm kind of running out of space on my computer and on my hard drives, so I gotta go get another hard drive and kind of switch the gears for um, my Elgato game capture, which is probably the best recording device for consoles right now. There's probably others like, I don't know, some, some, uh, how should I say it, um, some capture devices but you know they just go straight into the capture card you know and you can't really edit them you only save them I don't know you can do live commentary with them but you know what I'd rather see the gameplay on screen instead of just you know recording and hopefully nothing like trips up or anything you know so um, anyways thank you everyone for watching and um, remember to uh, subscribe remember to um, like this video I can just give it a thumbs up and plus if you also have if you also want to ask me about any information about just um, what unboxings I'm doing or just like anything in general um, just I guess contact me through YouTube or 
um, we will have a um, an email set up for you guys to email us your questions and all that so don't worry about that but also um, if you want if you want to kind of give us your questions even though we don't have an email um, I'm usually using Instagram for that I don't have a well, I do have a Twitter for it as well, but I'd rather use Instagram. So if you want to uh, send us a message on Instagram, and make sure to use the hashtag um, crazed, games, crazed Games Quest. Use that hashtag and um, just send us in your questions. So, alright everyone, have a good day.